Chairman of the United National Party Parliamentarian Kabir Hashim and Party General Secretary MP Akhila Viraj Karyavasam had requested the Speaker of Parliament Karujai Surya in writing to take necessary measures to ensure the rights and privileges of Ranil Vikramasinghe as Prime Minister. The letter to the Speaker states that Ranil Vikramasinghe still holds the Prime Minister's position as he commands majority confidence of Parliament. The party requested Karujai Surya to also ensure Ranil Vikramasinghe's security as he was appointed in accordance with Article 42 sub Article 4 of the Sri Lankan Constitution. Meanwhile, Speaker Karujai Surya had sent a letter to President Maestri Palasiri Sena today conveying that he had received a request to ensure the rights and privileges of Ranil Vikramasinghe until any other party emerges from within Parliament after securing majority confidence of Parliament. Speaker Jai Surya says in his letter that he recognises the request as democratic and fair. Meanwhile, UNP leader Ranil Vikramasinghe remains at the official residence of the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka, the Temple Trees. It was in this backdrop that several media briefings were held at Temple Trees by parliamentarians representing the UNP. There is argument that there is no national government. That once the UPFA withdrew from the government, the cabinet stands dissolved. Now that is not true because Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe was appointed as Prime Minister before the national government was was set up. The general election was held on the 17th of August. A few days later, because the United National Front was able to get the highest number of seats, acting on that, the President appointed the Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe as Prime Minister. So he was appointed even before Parliament met. Parliament met on the 1st of September. On the 2nd of September, Parliament decided to increase the number of ministers because the UPFA also came into government. So when the UPFA goes out of government, you go back to the position that existed on the, in the morning of the 2nd of September. That means it is a UNF government. And under, under the constitution, the withdrawal of one party from a national government is not a basis to consider the cabinet of ministers having been dissolved. So it's very clear that this whole exercise is unconstitutional. It is a political coup. We will definitely return to a culture of violence and I do not think we will be able to come out of it again. It is our view that they are trying to overcome all obstacles to their constitutional conspiracy. We are now fully aware of who is connected with Namal Kumar. No, he is still with us. Rani Wickremesinger wouldn't continue in office if he didn't have a majority confidence of 110 parliamentarians. We are confident that we will obtain votes of 123 parliamentarians in favour of a no-confidence motion against Mahindra Rajapaksa. We will commence protest on Tuesday. If the President refuses to pay heed to our concerns, we will gather public support. A group of nine or ten SLFP parliamentarians who cannot work with Mahindra Rajapaksa will join us soon. We are working on it. We will gather over 120 signatures.